Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to draw the hair of an anime girl. So, let's get started. First off, you're going to decide a point of root or whatever. It's just a point that indicates where the hair of this character is going to grow from. So, I'm, I'm going to give this girl a ponytail. So, the root is going to be about the top of the head. And uh, you can say that, you can see that the ears is grayed out that's because the hair is going to be partly covering the the ear so i'm just going to draw lines that that is pointing towards this point you see all the curves are pointing towards that point okay point here I'm gonna try to give some variations. Both sides is gonna look a little bit different. Gonna be like this, and this side is gonna be just two. This. Okay, and then just draw basically some random curves that points towards the this point. Okay, so when you think you have enough lines, just try to connect them, which is which is quite hard actually. You have to remember to be um, natural, I mean make the hair look natural. Also give them a lot of variations, so just don't be monotone and you know give all the hair strands the same length and same size. You have to, you know, just vary and then sometimes you can give him give her a flat, you know, flat bottom of a hair stand. That's up to you. But now it's pretty okay. See that try to give this um the length of the the place between the the hair strands to be you know different too and then I'm just going to draw a line from here which is gonna be the hair behind what's in front of the forehead but it's gonna meet um, actually it the line that goes from this hair is gonna go a little bit above the head so there are ma ma many ways to draw the ponytail, but in this this case, I'm going to give her. Uh, you can see the hair above her head. That's probably the no most normal way to draw a ponytail. About like this. Try to give her some lines to indicate that it's coming from there. And then from this point, you can draw some lines that go from there. It's a little bit hard to see now, I guess. But from this point, just draw some lines that grows from it. Maybe this line is a little bit more. And those lines should be you know, having an invisible connection with these lines uh, on the bottom. So this one is like connecting between these two, but it's uh, there's a space between them. So like this. So these are not random. It's going to be following the lines you have drawn here. Okay. And then, of course, the ponytail is going to have a tail behind, which is going to be quite quick. I mean thick <laughs> and also very easy to draw it's just this it's just like that maybe one more line there one more line there yeah that's pretty okay try to give them some variations but in this case didn't vary th that much but that's okay now I can go ahead and finish the ears. 
which is going to be visible on the sides and then you can probably see one line going from there too same goes for here and that's about it okay so and of course I forgot this this part of the of the hair which is gonna be going from the sides I know it's a little bit hard to see all lines very clearly now because I've drawn so many lines but I'm going to trace all the lines now using a much harder pencil and uh, yeah it's a 4b I'm going to use a 4b and then retrace all the lines you can see 4b what I just use is a 3h so 3h is a really so really hard pencil which is not gonna leave a lot much of traces it's gonna be very the strokes is gonna be very invisible soft and this one is going to be really really dark so yeah let me just go ahead and then and also one thing about this pencil is that you want to sharpen it quite well uh, when you're doing the sketch it's not really important to have it sharpened but when you're doing this tracing thing remember to get it sharp really important like really important so you can see that I've drawn a lot of lines that are very vague so you can uh, when you do the tracing you can decide a little bit you know if you see a line that is a little bit wrong don't follow it don't really of course you should you know have drawn it completely and perfectly when you do the sketch but of course when you see something wrong you should go ahead and draw it the other way and when I say about you know when I talked about you know trying to give it variations of course it's it depends on the hairstyle some hairstyles is very monotone and then you can actually just you know of course there are some uh, hairstyles that have the hair strands that are completely the same length but um, for this hairstyle it's gonna not gonna be like that of course you can experiment with some of your own styles but since you're watching this I, I bet you are a quite a beginner at least you view yourself so so you probably want to stick with some traditional hairstyles for now and of course develop some as you learn to draw develop some of your own styles and of course I forgot to erase the sketch lines so I'm gonna have a hard time erasing it but that's okay I'm probably not gonna erase it for this tutorial then just gonna erase it after I've done the tutorial And uh, let me just finish the neck of this character. And there's one last thing that we need to do after we have done the tracing. And that is, of course, to give it shadows and shading. But meanwhile, I'm actually going to erase a small amount of the lines. These lines, is really, I've drawn it really hard, so it's really hard to erase it now. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna be quick and give it shadows and shading. And first off, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna shade a whole hair. Get a dark shade. Gonna have a dark hair. As you can see, my style of shading is just to give her, you know, diagonal lines, but not really lines, just a gradient. And some people like to give her lines. Uh, that's, of course, completely okay. It's up to you. Just a matter of style. And in either case, lines or gradient, you should keep in mind, I mean, try to always have the same pressure especially lines. Lines are harder to use because you have to be not only have the same pressure but also to uh, have the lines lined up very orderly and that in my opinion is really hard. So I tend to stick with gradients. And then there are some people who always shadow with you know lines with an outline to the shadow which I sometimes do, but I don't, don't always do. And um, it really depends on the style again. I'm gonna darken this even more because it's been covered, it's, there's shadow in it on the tail. And then I'm gonna give shadow to the size of this. No, I'm not gonna give shadows to it. Hmm, that's, I'm gonna give shadows to this place and then this place and then the lower part of it and also a little bit of this it's gonna have some shadows this too and um, shadows on the side of the character below the hair every strands of it inside of it and uh, of course some on the nose but I hate giving shadows on the nose because it's so hard, it's so minimal, you have to give it like this small dot, it's really hard to give shadows to. And of course I'm gonna give shadows to the side of the neck. And we are done. Yeah, just gonna erase this one. And I hope you guys learned something new. And uh, yeah, and I... Uh, uh, if you like the video, just leave a like, and if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And uh, I will be back with another video. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.